Hey guys, my name is Katie Haywood and I'm the SciFAR STEM coordinator for Richmond, Anson, and Marlboro counties. Today in our 4-H Daily Spark, we are going to be working with an after-dinner science kit titled Ecosystem Jungle. Ecosystems are a mass of living and non-living things in one place. There are so many different types of ecosystems. Scientists study ecosystems to better understand how organisms, like humans, relate to and depend on other organisms and non-living things. One way to study ecosystems is to look at a different ways organisms get food. It's a food chain. So there are usually three parts of an ecosystem. There are producers, consumers, and decomposers. Producers are organisms such as plants that are able to make their own food. The organisms use sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide to make food and oxygen. Consumers, like humans, are organisms that need to eat in order to survive. Some consumers eat plants, while other consumers eat animals, and others eat both plants and animals. Decomposers break down waste products and dead organisms. The decomposers then release the nutrients back into the ecosystem. And I have some examples of some decomposers today. So I have some slugs on my cup. And then also inside my dirt, I have a worm. Where is he? He's hiding in my soil. Let's see. So these decomposers go through the dirt and they basically break down the waste in the dirt and the dead organisms and then they release those nutrients back into the soil or back into the ecosystem. So there's our worm decomposer. Actually have a couple. So what you'll need for this experiment today is a two liter bottle that has been cut in half. Make sure you have a caregiver to help you cut your two liter bottle. You'll need some small rocks, some very rich soil, and a plant that has the root system still attached. Okay guys, so You'd have your two liter bottle here that you've cut in half with your caregiver. And you're gonna keep the lid on the top of it. And those small rocks that you found outside, you're gonna place in the bottom of your two liter bottle. And those will filter out the water that's put into the bottle itself. So these are a little large, but they were what I had in my yard, so I'm gonna use those. It's, it's usually better for you to have smaller rocks. So you have your rocks in your bottom of your bottle. And the next thing that you're gonna put in here is some soil. And I have some very rich soil, like I said. And in my soil are my snails, my slugs, my worms, all of my decomposers. 
You don't have to put in any decomposers. So now you can see I have my small rocks here on the bottom and I have a layer of my rich soil and my worms are in that soil so that they can help decompose the, the um, debris from my ecosystem. I'm going to take my hands and I'm going to make a small hole in the middle of my soil and I'm going to take my plant. and I have the root here still attached. You can also use beautiful flowers like these back here. You're just gonna plant your plant on the inside of your soil and use your hand to pack that soil around your plant. It should look something like that. And now you'll take your top half of your two liter bottle and you'll place it on top of the bottom half. So I'm gonna do that down here. And so while I'm sitting this on here, we know that plants need water, sunlight, and soil or nutrients from soil to survive. So we already know that our plant has nutrients from the soil. We know that we can give it sunlight because we'll place it out here in the sun so that um, it can get the sunlight it needs. But to get it to water, we're going to pour some in the cap here. And you just want a very small amount. take your completed ecosystem in a bottle and you'll put it out in the sunlight. So you'll see as your plant grows, your worms decompose, all the yucky stuff that's happening in there. Your rocks will filter the water and sometimes you'll see, and if you can see it on my two liter bottle there, small water droplets on the inside of your bottle that has formed. So we have some condensation on the inside of our bottle, which are small water droplets that are formed um, on the inside surface of our piece of plastic uh, bottle here. And what will happen is that condensation at some point will become big water droplets. And those water droplets will then fall into the soil and will water the plant, um, which will then grow. And your ecosystem will have a continuous cycle within itself. Now sometimes your soil may become dry or you might need to add some water. So if you need to, you just take the cap off, you'll pour some water into the top of your bottle here, you'll put your cap back on, you'll put your bottle out into the sunshine and watch your ecosystem grow.